The future of space exploration, the emerge of private space sector and daily life in space. These are among the topics we discussed today with two special guests from International Space Station. Terry Wirt, the current ISS commander, and Samantha. Hi Terry, buongiorno Samantha. Thank you very much for joining us on Euronews. I would like to start by asking how you feel about the other three crew members returning to Earth. As the next crew will arrive at the end of March, do you feel a bit lonely up there in space? You know, it was, it was, it was sad seeing. And what comes after the International Space Station once its mission is over? How do we ensure the presence of humans in space? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today. And it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, via, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the... We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. 